What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz and today we are in the heart of Brentwood and I'm going to be showing you guys this brand new construction modern farmhouse right behind me. The home features seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, two half bathrooms, 7,800 square feet of interior space and is currently priced at just under $8.5 million. And I also want to thank all of the listing agents for letting us tour their incredible listing. Starting a tour in the front of the house, you have a semi-circular driveway with two motor gates on each end of the driveway. I love the wood finishes on the three car garage doors and you can see all the dark warm colors that this modern farmhouse has to offer. It's not just the bright white exterior, you have the dark gray and then all of the wood shingling and paneling up above. But let's just head inside because there is a lot to see in this house. And we have made it inside this brand new modern farmhouse. As soon as you arrive, you look up to two diamond shaped light fixtures, chandeliers hanging from those very high ceilings with this grand entryway. To my right is the formal dining room and to my left, we're gonna walk first, is the family room. Front facing, two windows looking out at the driveway. One thing I really like about this family room are the glass detailing to my left, the walls that give you a peek right into the staircase that leads to the basement level. Built-in speakers above, lots of lighting, and let's just walk directly across to the dining room. So many really cool details about this house, and one of them is above the dining table. Look at this chandelier light fixture. They look like spears that are just all put together. Really cool 3D image, adds to the, the art and architecture of this home. Lots of windowed cabinetry. You have marble countertops as well as the backsplash here. Big enough space, high ceilings, and look above, you can see the wood blocks that border those high ceilings and the LED lights that face toward the ceiling to add more of a 3D look to the lighting here in this dining room. But enough of that, let's go back to the center and keep moving. Now you're gonna see a lot of wood features as well as the white oak wood flooring. Below me to my right, the staircase as well. And then look at that structure. Now that's actually where the elevator is to my right that goes all the way up. All those wood block shape features going to those high ceilings. And then if you look to my left, the wine cellar, three wine racks. And one thing I like is that there aren't just two doors in the center here. You have four glass doors, so you can easily just grab any bottle of wine you want. If you wanna go for the, the top right, you can open the right door, and there you have it, fully glass doors. Now let's keep moving. Now we're gonna start in the kitchen, and one thing I really like about this kitchen is that you don't have your usual old breakfast bar that faces toward the family room. You have a drop-down table with seating on both sides, completely made of wood, where you can just have a nice seat, and that is your breakfast table. But if you don't like that breakfast table attached to your island, you have another one in this nook area to my right. There's also some doors that open to the backyard, the barbecue grill, and the pool. Center Island has a waterfall edge, and then this cabinetry of quartz extends the entire length of this kitchen. And check this out, probably one of the coolest ovens I've ever seen on this channel that you guys will ever see on this channel. It is a blue Viking dual oven, and look at all of these knobs, oh my goodness. Also, that is my favorite color. I, I can't get enough of it. This is the first thing I noticed right when I walked into this house, honestly. And then above, a hood vent that matches completely the same with the Viking appliances down below. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see, it. you have a Viking dishwasher that matches together all the appliances. That is a very nice upgrade. I think it adds a lot to this home. And as we keep moving, as I said, the countertops extend this way. Built-in Wolf espresso machine, built-in microwave, and then your massive, look at how wide this is, your fridge and freezer. And there's even more kitchen as you walk down this way. You have a sink to wash the smaller bowls and dishes. Then you have a wine fridge built in down below. And then walk-in pantry behind me. Plenty of storage space. Now let's move on to the family room across the way. Okay, now check out this family room. I'm gonna open up these sliding glass doors while I talk about it a little bit. But you can see the gas fireplace over there right below where your flat screen TV would be surrounded by a beautiful stone material. I love the bronze veins that go all the way up to the ceiling there. And check this out. Open concept living at its finest. Indoor outdoor flow, just California sliders. Check that out. And then to both sides of this fireplace, you have floating shelves, LED lights shining down so that you can display anything you would like. I love the staging in here. But now let's move out and show you guys the backyard. So as we first step out to this backyard, you look up, wood paneling above us, lots of recessed lighting throughout. This is a nice covered patio section. Then as you keep moving over here, 
outdoor fire pit lounge. Love that. Who just wants to cook s'mores at the winter time here in LA? It's just a beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky, only the sun. It's the only thing I see. But as we keep moving, turf throughout the entire backyard, zero edge pool, spa over in the corner, and here it is. Your very own pool house, guest house, or massage room, which is how they have it staged. I would love a good massage right now. It sounds amazing, but gonna have to do that another time. Close that off. After you have a nice dip in your pool, jacuzzi, or whatnot, go right through this door, shower up, use the restroom, quartz countertops, just a beautiful, this is not your typical pool bathroom. That's as good as what you'll see in the main house. That's pretty much it in this backyard. Loop around me, take a look at what the house looks like from this angle. Magnificent, can't wait to go up there. One more thing, there's a barbecue grill over in the corner. Get a quick shot of that. But now let's go back inside and show you the rest of this main level. Back inside, open space. Now you might have not noticed that this wall looks pretty unique, right? This is a door that leads into the elevator. You see the knob right there. You can just call it if you would like but it go, takes you from upstairs to here or to the basement, which we'll show you in a bit. But I absolutely love this woodwork on the wall. Incredible. As we move this way, another thing I wanna show you is the detailing of the LED lights on the ceilings. Now that really adds a lot of depth to the lighting in here, a lot more brightness as well. And now here is your powder room. Now I really like this powder room. It's very unique because of the faucet. Look at this. It almost looks like uh, something that you would hold your sword in. This is one of the coolest faucets that I've ever seen. You might think the water just magically flows in there from nothing, but that's really cool. Love the stonework as well. Very large sink, easy access to wash your hands and let's keep moving. Storage space to my left, glass countertops. This way you have a mud room. This door leads you into the three car garage. Behind me is a special room. I wasn't gonna show this, but I, but I have to. Really nice quartz countertops, and then you have a dog bath over here. You don't see that in too many houses, but I think a lot more would need that so you don't have to wash your dog in the hose outside or whatnot. Tell me in the comments if you like that touch of the house, if you have a dog as well, and if you would use that. But now behind me, ooh, brains of the house. Boom, that's it for that. And then another bedroom. So this can be considered a guest bedroom or an office. I do really love the glass on the walls here. You can open it, it leads you to the backyard, backyard access, lots of natural sunlight in here. Great space to do some office work, enough room for a couch, enough room to have a bed in here as well and just make it a guest bedroom. Let's check out the bathroom real quick. This is a beautiful bathroom. I love how they contrast the dark countertops with the white cabinetry and the bright white flooring, honeycomb flooring, as well as you'll see in the, see in the shower. Shower tiles are amazing. Chrome shower head, handheld one. This is amazing, really nice bathroom. I like it, 10 out of 10 for your guest bedroom or office bathroom. So that was everything here on this main level. You saw it all, but now we're gonna show you the entertainment basement. So come on down here. As we head to the basement, a lot of nice details to see. To my right, you see the wood shelves, floating shelves with the glass on each side of them, a recessed light above there. To my left, that elevator, more wood, and then I really like the the LED lighting below me that follow along this stairwell here. And as we keep heading down, you see the LED light again following the stairs. Up above to my left is the diagonal shaped glass wall that you can see directly into the living room. But let's head downstairs, show you the basement. All right, here we go into the basement. First thing you see, the brains. This controls everything down in the basement. To my left, this is where the elevator arrives as you arrive to the basement. And look at this, a glass enclosed gym. Now that's very nice. I've done a couple of these tours where you'll see glass enclosed gyms. I'll link one above there if you wanna click that. Check it out, love the staging in here. Perfect size for a gym, you can put whatever you want. A couple stationary bikes, treadmill, and whatnot. You have a bathroom here. We're not gonna show too much, just a quick, nice contrast. Quartz countertops, dark countertops, and bright white cabinetry down below. But now let's just show you this space. Lots of room, you can put maybe a billiards table or just keep it like this. Have some seats, put a TV up, maybe make your own bar somewhere around here. But I love the staging because they have shuffleboard. It's a great bar game, shuffleboard. I'm pretty good at it, let's see it. Okay, zero points. Not good at it today, maybe another time. Look at those posters, great artwork. And behind me, 
double doors that lead into the acoustics just changed completely, obviously, because we are in your home movie room. Look at this, I love the blue accents throughout the walls, obviously, blue is my favorite color. I told you that, over by the ovens. And you have a built-in refrigerator down below, lots of storage space, floating shelves, LED lights. Over in the back, candy, who doesn't love candy? You have whatever you want, Hershey's Kiss, Gummy Bears, Starburst. This is a nice viewing area as well if you wanna just hang out in the back stand, maybe eat some snacks while everyone else is sitting down, lounge, lounging around, and watching a movie on that large projector screen. Check out the view from over here. Three levels to this stadium seating theater, but now let's head out and keep moving. Last in the basement, down this hallway, Two bedrooms down here, one to my left, one to my right. They are identical. We're gonna show you some B-roll, but we're not gonna go in there to save some time. Check that out. Boom, now let's head upstairs. As we walk up, you see another LED light right beneath my feet. Gonna take a turn to the right, keep coming up. Okay, we made it to the top floor, and first of all, to my right, let's take a look at this. This is the elevator. Elevator arrives to the top floor. You enter the, the, this area. I love the padding on this seated space. And let's keep moving. To my right, laundry room. Love the cabinetry. You have a sink in there. And here's the first bedroom we'll show you. So this is a very spacious bedroom. There's a lot of nooks, such as in this corner, built-in desk space, as you see. They push it out a bit so that they have enough room for this desk. Look at that. Do some work right there. And then over in this side as we walk toward the bathroom is where all your closet space is. All of these doors open up. And then on this side as well, boom, plenty of space. Lots of, lots of room here. Look at this. I can just do some stretches. It's a lot, a lot of space in this room. More countertop. And then you have some natural sunlight coming in through this window. You can look down onto the driveway. Now we're in the bathroom, of course. Look at all the, all the countertop space to the right. I love this stone, dark stone. We see this in a lot of bathrooms in this house so far with the dark and the light contrasting. I love the light gray tiles. And as you come on in, come on in. You see a built-in bathtub. Wow, I love those linear gray tiles going all the way up to the ceiling, chrome shower head in the shower niche. Ooh, the detailing in here is amazing. You got that shower bench in there that is also of the same stonework we see on the countertops. And in the niche as well, oh, can't, can't keep going on. This is just one of the bathrooms of many. So let's just keep moving. Now I do have to point out in this hallway, this looks amazing. You're gonna get a B-roll shot right now that you guys are gonna see, but this LED light goes the entire length from above me and then it wraps around to that wall. We'll talk about it later before we go into the master because it just I haven't seen this yet in the house. It just looks amazing. I put a nice statue there, enough of that. Storage space to my left, here's another bedroom. Enough room for two twin size beds. Again, a built-in desk space, floating shelves above it on that side. Closet space is over here this time, and let's just show you in the bathroom. A little different from the last one, we don't have the dark black countertops. We have the bright white quartz countertops, contrasting with the darker gray in the cabinetry. Same with the flooring, as well as in the shower, and I do love the shower. It, it's, it's more of a rustic tone in, in this white, it looks like you know, the East Coast brick mixed with a little bit of a rustic red brick, but it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Kind of looks dirty, but it's not. Those are brand new tiles there. Shower bench, brand new quartz. Now let's keep moving. I do like that. One more bedroom before we show you the main bedroom of the house. Let's turn this way. Obviously, first thing you notice in here is the balcony. I'm just gonna have to walk out there really quick, really quick. Just gotta take in this day. Oof, amazing. You look down at the pool, slightly windy, but not quite. Palm trees everywhere. You could probably see out to the ocean right now, but uh, what an amazing day. Perfect weather. Winter in LA, doesn't get better than that. So behind me, closet space. Plenty of closet space. Wood finishes throughout. Lots of room in here. This could be a master in itself. This would be the junior suite of the house. And then there's the bathroom. Same finishes as we saw in the last bathroom, except the shower walls of a different linear tile in a different pattern. Enough of that, the main bedroom. Now this is what I was talking about. You see the LED lights above me, 
goes all the way, it wraps around this wall. And look at this, this is a great spot for maybe a photo op or to put, to put a statue, your favorite piece of artwork right in the center to display it for everyone as they're up in your hallway. And then also to my left, we're above everything in that grand entrance. You have these glass walls, glass railings next to me. So you can just come out of your bedroom to my right and see anyone that's coming into your home. Well, let's move on inside. This is it. Very spacious, very high ceilings, wood beam in the center, built-in speakers, of course, so much recessed lighting. To my left, marble surrounds the fireplace, built-in storage to both sides. On the left, you have a built-in fridge so that you don't have to go all the way downstairs to your kitchen. You just have a nice drink from there. Another balcony, I don't have to walk out to this one, you saw what it looked like. Same thing as on the other one, but it extends the entire length of this room, so it's a little bit bigger than the other balcony. But we gotta just show you the bathroom and the closets. They're incredible. Well, 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 this is it. First, the bathroom. Motion-censored LED light strips beneath each vanity to my right and to my left. They're symmetrical, so you see the same thing. You would have the his side over to my left with the marble countertops and the hers because there's a drop down makeup area with a mirror in front of it. Love the lighting throughout. And then I also love the flooring, have to talk about that. It goes from the wood and then seamless, well not too seamless, you can obviously tell, but it blends right in to this darker gray marble. And then you see smaller tiles here in the shower. You got your bathtub directly in the center of your two showers. Shower to my right and left, both massive shower benches. Marble on the wall, deck throughout, large oversized window right above this bathtub. This is one of the nicest showers I've ever seen. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you're wondering where the toilets were, there are two private doors. Bada bing, bada boom, lead you into your toilet. And they keep on with the detail of the flooring. Look at that, zoom in on that, that's amazing. And last but not least, I'm sure you guys wanna see the walk-in closet. Now they stick with the overall warm theme of the dark gray with the wood beneath me. So you see it throughout, window doors so you can display all your clothing, the LED lights above once again, and then this is something a little bit different if you zoom in here. We got padding in the accessory drawers so that your watches, your jewelry, all your high-end expensive things can be safe, padded, they won't scratch. That's one thing I really like, and you can see them through the glass as well. Little seated area over here, put on your shoes just to hang out. Lights bring in natural sunlight, but that was everything up here on this third level. Let's go back downstairs. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you made it this far and haven't yet, hit the like button down below. Really appreciate it a lot, helps out the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. What'd you think about this? Please leave a comment below. I wanna know, lots of videos coming soon in the future. I also wanna thank all of the listing agents involved for letting us tour. They are incredible listing. All their information, websites, social medias will be down in the description below. And I will see you guys on the next one.